Hey guys, it's Jasmine. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I highlight and contour. And I have on this makeup and lip gloss or lipstick because I just finished recording a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure if it's going to be up yet because it was kind of like all over the place. So yeah, and this light is really washing me out. Like my windows, like this natural lighting, but whatever. So yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be highlighted and contour how I, Jasmine, contour. And I already have on foundation, but I'm going to put on a little bit more. Just so you guys can see. And for this, I'm just going to be using the um, L'Oreal um, True Match Foundation in C7 Nut Brown. And I'm just going to use a very little bit. Just so I can show you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be using this Coastal Scents brush. And I'm just going to put that over. And you want to make sure you girls get your hairline or you guys because you don't want to look like you have on a mask. Ew, I'm just got lipstick on here. Okay, so that's all the foundation I'm going to put on. I'll put on a little more. And you want to make sure you get your under your neck area and stuff. My makeup looks... I take a concealer that's a little lighter than me. And this is NW35 Studio Finish Concealer. From MAC. And I'm just going to be using my fingers. Because I think fingers work best with concealer. Because it just warms it up. And yeah. So I'm going to apply that under my eye. In a triangular type shape. I'm trying to refrain from doing my ugly. Ew, I have concealer on my um. Sorry, guys. But. I'm trying to refrain from doing my ugly face. And you can see the difference between this side and this side. This side just looks more awake and like. Pow. As you can see, and I'm going to do the other side. Your under uh, under eyes are highlighted, and I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose. If you can see that. I'm sure you guys can. And you can put some on your forehead if you like. Highlighting and contouring, like you're putting your highlight, like you're highlighting the areas of your face where the sun and light naturally hit. And a lot of people do their like chin and stuff, but only you'll see. So I'm going to take this brush and just like make it blend with my foundation. So I don't have any harsh lines. And 
then I'm going to take the Ben Nye banana powder. And I just use a cap. I use this Tiffany box. I just put it in here. It makes it easier to get the product. And I just tap some in there. And I use a cosmetic sponge, which, whatever you want to call it. And I just tap it in there. And I'll pack it under my eye. Well, wherever the area is, I put the concealer. Then I get some on the tip and put it on the bridge of my nose. And you can't even see, but I'm just putting it on the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going to put some on my cupid's bow and on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. But I don't really like my forehead to be highlighted much. So, I'll look crazy, of course. Okay, so after you're done with that... You take your all over face powder and I use this mineralized skin finish from MAC and I'm going to be taking a flat top brush like so and I'm just going to apply this powder where I did not put the highlight well I put it over my chin and my cupid's bow. And also on my forehead because I don't like my forehead really, um, really highlighted. And you just pack the powder in. Okay. Now that was to set your foundation and and you just want to leave the banana powder so it can set into your skin. And then you take your contour powder and I'm using Sleek Face Contour Kit and my color is the color Dark Medium. If you're my skin tone, Medium will work for you too. You can use an array of brushes. Um, You can use this kind of brush which is a contour brush and this is from Real Techniques you can use an angled powder brush or a blush brush or you can use a more dense brush which is what I'm gonna be using and I'm going to squeeze it like that so I'm just gonna take the contour shade and put my brush in it duck face And you just want to put it in the hollows of your cheek. As you can see. Then I'm also going to do my temples. And under in my hairline. And that gives you your contour. And you can make this as subtle or as bold as you want. And then I'm going to wipe away the banana powder. And I'm using a Rose Techniques powder brush. And I'm going to wipe away the excess banana powder. Sorry guys, I had to cover up my nose ring because mine is still not healing, so I have to leave it in. So, yeah, and you see how it gives you a nice, subtle, hot. You can see I have my contour and my highlight. 
And then you want to take your highlighting shimmer shade. This is optional. And first we're going to contour our nose though. So I'm going to be taking the same um, contour shade from the Sleek Kit. And I'm going to be using, you can use any type of like small blending brush or anything or pre precision brush. And I'm using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to take some of the contour shade and put it on the bridge. Not on the bridge, but on the outside of the bridge and bring it in. And put it in the socket of your eye. And I have a piece of hair. If you can tell the difference between this side and that side, which is not contour yet. And then I'm going to do this side. And you want to bring it in and go into your socket. And there you have a contoured nose. And then you're going to take your shimmery shade. And I'm going to be using the one that comes in the sleek contour kit. And it's like a goldy color. And this can be a dupe for the NARS Albatross. Um, because although the NARS Albatross looks like a whitish shade, it is it is it does have a gold shimmer, like it's gold when you put it on your skin. So I'm gonna take a flat brush like this one. You see it's kind of flat. And I'm just gonna dip it into the highlighting shade and put it on the high spots of your face, of your cheekbones. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmer. You can see it a little bit. And I'm just placing it on the high parts of my cheekbone. You can't see this shimmer. I'm trying to put more than normal because you can't see it really in this harsh lighting that I have. Then I'm going to take some down the bridge of my nose on my Cupid's bow. And some on my chin. And you can put a little on your forehead. And so that's basically contouring. As you can see. And then I like to take a powder brush, another flat top powder brush. And this is the e.l.f. powder brush. And I just like to make sure everything is blended in good. So you don't have any harsh lines. And you can also take your contour down here. I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to be using this contour brush from Real Techniques. And you just take it and you bring it down. And this just makes your face look more slim and gives you a more slimmer face and gives you more dimension. I'm just going to blend all that out because I do not want to have any harsh lines. Okay, and then you can take your blush color if you want to wear blush and do the same thing. I'm going to be using this Spice Plum blush from L'Oreal, the True Match blush. And I'm going to be taking this same flat brush and applying it on the apples of my cheeks. And blending back a little bit. You can see the difference between this side and this side. No blush, blush. And 
And this blush has like a slight shimmer to it. So it gives you added, an added glow. And that is how I Jasmine contour, highlight, and apply blush color. And then once again, you can um, blend everything together just so you don't have any harsh lines. And then there you have it, a contoured and highlighted face. And blush. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the infer in the questions box. So this is the finished look, and I hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys. Bye.